Hi everyone, welcome to Diamond Painting Caverns. I'm Carla and I wanna thank you to all of my new subscribers that have joined. Um, some of you have followed me from my cross stitch channel. Some of you, look at the light, I'm sorry. The light's gonna reflect on my glasses, but if I take my glasses off, I can't see. So <laughs> I'm here and I wanted to say, Thank you for anybody that's new that just stumbled upon me. This diamond painting channel was a new channel for me. Um, my original cross stitch love created another channel called Craft Attic K. Welcome to visit me there where I talk cross stitch. And I recently um, created this channel to focus on diamond painting. It is, it is been a learning curve. It is much different than my cross stitch channel because of the setup. So, it's really, I've been messing with different things, trying to do over the top so you can view, and I really don't feel like I'm connected well when all you see is my hands in the screen. So today you get to see me, the voice behind the hands. <laughs> um, I am from Western Pennsylvania. It is a hot, hot day today. It is May. Um, when I'm filming this, it would be May 20th. It is supposed to be 90 degrees in Pennsylvania, Western Pennsylvania today. And it's already, I woke up to 75 degrees, so I'm sure we will hit there. Um, my daughter's in the National Guard. She came back last week from a year long deployment and it was fantastic having her back. So it has been a crazy busy week because since she's been back, she bought a new vehicle. Well, new for her, but used vehicle. Um, she's returning to her job in West Virginia, so we had to do the apartment shopping and she found a place. Um, so we'll get to start moving in here in the next two weeks. So it's been a, a whirlwind. So I haven't gotten a lot of diamond painting done, but I have been working. You'll see behind me, this is the um, Liberty, Liberty Designs um, by Dreamer Designs. I started practicing with multi-placing up in the clouds. Um, I did an unboxing of that and today we're here because I am really excited because I was approached by a company um, and asked if I would consider doing an unboxing of their product and I thought okay so let me pick some things that you may not normally see on an unboxing video. So the company is DIY Digital Art and their website is DIYDigitalArt.com and I will put their links below and I will also link each item I'm gonna to show today. So without further ado, I gotta tell you, DIYDigitalArt.com, I've been on their website. They have cross stitch, they have diamond painting. I think they even have like oil paints, all kinds of crafts. I really recommend you check them out. They're, they've got some really cool stuff and it's not gonna break your bank. Well, it shouldn't break your bank. So we're gonna, we have, I ordered four different items and I'm just, comes in a bag like this. I did cut the top to kind of cut down on the crinkly sound, but I don't know how effective that will be. So let's start with um, really quickly, and I will show this on my cross stitch channel, probably. Um, they did send me, I wanted to find something that was cross stitch related, and um, I got a, I think it's it's, I didn't realize it was a Joy Sunday. It's on a pre-printed pattern design. So it comes with your floss on a card like this. So it has all of your cotton flosses and it's on, okay. And this is for a 14 count. They recommend two threads. It has two needles in a little baggie here attached. That's kind of cool. Um, to use. They look like gold headed needles. Well, probably can't see that very well, but it is on a um, 14 count Ada printed. It's a pre-print and I've never, uh, I always do counter cross stitch. I've never did a project that was like a stamped cross stitch like this on Ada. And I'm going to just quickly show you the picture because I know this is diamond painting for diamond painting channel, not cross stitch. But it is Joy Sunday and it's called the Ducks Under the Umbrella. And this is what it will look like when it's done. I thought it was cute. Um, they do give you, I can't show you obviously, but they do give you a pattern. It's a colored pattern. Um, 
that if you didn't want to do it on the Ada, you could pull your own fabric to do it on. I, I'm not real familiar with Joy Sunday um, per se, but I'm going to say this, that I have been told on my cross stitch channel that they do have, are not always licensed with what they um, sell. And, and when I mean licensed, I mean that the artist is not getting reimbursement. So I just say to um, caution you to make sure you're doing your research or looking. I did not, I just thought, boy, I haven't seen that anywhere before and I went for it. So um, hopefully it's not somebody's artist that's not getting reimbursed, but I just, I got this from DIYdigitalart.com, cross stitch. Okay, next up, I wanted to, um, diamond painting. So, you know, it is the season of of um, COVID, for lack of a better word, it's been a tragic, tragic time for a lot of us, no matter what nation you're from. And I've seen these before, but I've never ordered, I was always intrigued by it. And it's called a mask holder. It comes in your package, comes like this. So this is all in one package. I selected the butterfly. They have many different ones. You could use this to put your mask in if you want to wear a mask. I'm kind of opening. There's your tray, your pen, your your uh, wax, and your little green tray. It has, looks like five colors is what I'm seeing here. And the colors, let's just open them up because, you know, they are sparkly. Oh, my gosh, and there's some um, ABs in here. There's definitely more than five colors. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. And there is some AB, it looks like, right off the bat. I'm going to show you. Oops, get my fingers out of the way. Can you see that iridescent? AB means Aurora Borealis. There's that iridescent, and then you got some crystals, some more crystals, some blues, some golds, some oranges, some yellows, some bigger blues. Some teardrop looking clears and blues. So hopefully you can see that. And that is all for this guy. This is a mask holder and it is um, a little bit. I see this. Nope, it's good. Sticky is good on it. You just peel that back, top back, and you can put your um, little drills on there, your gems. And it's got a lock closure see you can see lock closure there i pulled those up when you open it up the idea is you can put your masks in here and then you can pull one mask at a time put this in your purse you can carry and i wish i had brought masks up here with me but i didn't because i had a different idea i want to see if it works since you're in my cavern let's try something shall we so i have quick release papers that I had ordered. And I have, oh, look at that. I've always been looking for something I could fit my quick release papers for when I'm diamond painting, because they're reusable. Look at that. That's awesome. My papers fit in here. And I still have room. I could slide underneath the little tabs on the side if I really wanted to, but I don't think I need to. Just to lay them in there when I'm taking them off, I can put them back in and this can sit by my diamond painting station. I may have to order me another one of these. And then it closes up. Pretty slick, huh? I don't know, I like it. I'm gonna leave those in there. Okay. All right, so let me set this off to the side. I don't wanna lose things, if you know what I mean. I don't wanna lose that or get them mixed up. So I'll set that over here off to the side. Next up. We have a diamond painting. So, oh, by the way, the mask case that I just showed you with the butterfly is $6 on their website. I just checked it before filming today. Um, the duck under umbrella was $5.75. So if you're a cross stitcher and you're interested, $5.75, not bad. Um, I'm peeling stuff off here. Okay, so this is diamond painting. Mm -hmm. 
We've got the colors. Let's see. All right. Let's look at their colors. How about that first? I'm not sure. Do you guys prefer the colors first or you want to see what the pattern is? You know, the design. So it comes with your little green tray, your wax, and your, you know, your typical kit. This is a round drill, and it looks like we're going to open them up. I see 18. Might be more than that, girl. 22. We're going to see. We're going to see. I believe. Yep, we have 22 colors in this. So, we got whites and creams. And then I'm just going to go across here. We're going to go across. There's some grays and some blues and some reds, some creams. Oh, look at, I got some uh, mixture here going in the back side. A little bit of, of people jumping where they're not supposed to be. Got, got mixed up in the kit. That's an easy fix. Doesn't take away. Got some reds. Look at those colors. There's a nice pale green, a lot of gray, different shades of gray. A lot of different shades of gray. And another kind of peachy red, rosy red. So, what, pray tell, would these 22 colors be for? Because you know they never go back the way they're supposed to. Uh, uh, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so. This is a 30 by 40. It is called American Pentagram on their website. I'm just going to, before I show you, I'm going to loosen up the, the top layer. Stick is really good. Kind of relax it a bit. It'll relax down some more. So, it's kind of... Um, Staticking the top is kind of staticking to my arm. So I'm making it a little bit difficult to get it back down here. It is so hot up here, you guys. I was just trying to, I wanted to do this first thing this morning just so I didn't have to try and do this in the heat this afternoon. And that way I can put the air conditioning on while I am editing. All right, so this is American Pentagram with 4th of July coming. This sang to me, and this is what it is. It has your um, key here and another key down here on the side. The how-to's across the bottom. Look at those drills, though. Marked very clearly. You can see that. Very clear. And to get the whole picture. And it says Liberty on the Stars. And I thought this is a great, um, with 4th of July coming, what a great patriotic piece. Memorial Day's coming. You know, just a nice patriotic piece. So... And this one was $5.25. The glue is really good on it. It's around the, the, the marks. I don't, I can't think of what they're called. The, this, on here, you can see it very easily. Very, very easily. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, DIY Digital Art. I am so looking forward to doing this one. It's gorgeous. Definitely. And other than the, um, you got a few stray jumpers in your, in your drills, which I can easily fix that. The canvas, nice canvas. It's not a velvet and it's not as sparkly, but it's not as stiff and hard as I've seen others. Okay. Last item in our little baggie. And I, this is one I was really excited about. I hadn't seen this yet, so I'm going to. Open it up. Sorry for the crinkles, but that's it comes packed like this. Wonder what it could be. So I'm really excited about this one. There were different versions of this. This is called a tree box, a sundries tree box. It is this was $14.25. Okay, but inside oh this is cool all right so you have this tray has the plastic um tweezers the pink pen you got your pink wax and your green boat tray it also has your symbols on a separate paper 
and I'll show you why. And oh my, oh my. Okay, so this is cool. I'm gonna do this one. Maybe I'll do this one as a diamond paint with me and we can do it together as a paint with me. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe I can do that. There are 11 colors in this, just 11. A lot of specialty drills. All right, so let's start. We got some green uh, rhinestones and there's some pretty green, a gold. Look at this. That like reminds me like peacocky colors. That's got some Aurora, is that Aurora Borealis? Boy, it sure does look like it. I think that's some Aurora Borealis. Look at how pretty that is. See it catching that light? Oh my gosh, it's, it's like purples. And, whew. Okay, and then we got some white that's also got some Aurora Borealis to it, I think, as an AB. There's a nice faceted um, specialty there, a bigger round rhinestone. We've got Aurora Borealis, kind of a teardrop. I don't know if it's a teardrop, but it looks like kind of like a leaf, maybe, hint, hint. Um, a small rhinestone, oblong shape, and a green and purplish. Oh, look at that, iridescent. Look at how that captures that light. That's got like, it looks purples and greens. Oh my goodness. I know it's hard to see with the, because you keep getting the backs, but I keep shaking them. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be gorgeous. I can't wait. And all of that goes in on this. So here's the pattern, okay? This is the design. Sorry, I got a string hanging. Let me get rid of that string. Okay, so this is the design, right? But check this out. It is a box. It has the, it's a, one of those collapsible boxes. So it has this, that sits down on the inside to give it some shape. And look. I wanna get more of these. This will fit in my cubicle. Like, I have cubes, I'm looking at them right now to store things in, and how cool would that be? Oh, I just love that. I hope that's a screen grab. I just really love that. $14.25 on their website. It has 11 colors on this one in particular. There's different color choices. Um, definitely, I mean, it's good, stiff, strong. It's like got a... Like a board in the inside, I don't know. It's not soft, it's not flimsy. It is solid, it's it's good. You can see the fold. Like if I took, if you take the inside out, it collapses, right? How's this stick, you ask? Cause I didn't ask, I didn't do that yet. You can see, see the little stick is good. And you can see, easy to easy to follow, looks good. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to do this one. This will be the next one up on my, this is going to happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to happen. So you can, if you do this and you store it away, but think about, I know, how cool would it be? But think about, you can fold this up just like that, slide the, the bottom, I slid into it folded it up, store it away. Or how about, how cool would it be if you want to gift a friend something? Why not use this to, you know, we just had Easter, but wouldn't this make a cool Easter basket or something like that kind of springtime? You can put filler in and then fill it up and then wrap the cellophane around it. You could do that with that. Or what about if you're going to a picnic how cool would your plates and your paper towels and stuff carrying it out to the table look like that? And with this facing out on your table that you've got paper plates that people can take their plates out of for an event. The, the Endless, endless. Well, even if you just want to store your extra diamond paintings in here. If you diamond paint a friend, goes the reason. Maybe you got some small diamond paintings like my unboxing with the all those little minis. What a great place to put the minis at. And if I put that in my cubicle, I know this is diamond painting stuff. 
because of my diamond pan front and I can pull it out and whip it on out. So, I think that's it. So to recap, we got this wonderful sundries box and it is $14.25. It is a tree box. There's other patterns as well. Got my, my uh, tell me what to do, my drills. I'm gonna put, keep that all together because I'm gonna work on that one at some point, maybe today. We have our Liberty. American Pentagram is what it's called because of the star, but that is very patriotic piece. It's gonna be great. This is 30 by 40. Oh, if you wanna see the thumbnail of it, I guess I didn't show you that. Where am I at? Here you go. There's your thumbnail. Not very good to get it in focus because it wants to focus on me, but, okay. And then you have your mask holder, AKA quick release papers. Can fit some decent size in there. And to finish it all off, my cross stitch design that's a stamped cross stitch that I'm gonna give it a try. Maybe I'll like stamped cross stitch. I don't know. Or it might become a giveaway for on my channel. I don't know. So, with all of that being said, I just wanna say thank you again for joining me. Thank you for supporting the channel as I try to grow it. And I hope you don't mind this new format. If you like seeing me versus seeing my hands, feel free. Comment below and tell me what you're working on. And don't forget to visit some other diamond painters out there. You got Sentimental Pastimes, Mim's House, you got Diamond Painting Grandma. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Um, Sweet Tea is, is out there. And I will have some of their links as well below because if this is a community. And what I've learned in, in the world of where we're at now, community is so important, whether it be in real life or virtual. So if you have a virtual community and you can show support, this is the time to do it. And nobody's out there alone. So, hey, see you next time on our Diamond Painting Caverns. Bye, everybody.